Hi everyone, thanks for joining Vantasy TV. I'm Carrie Lynn, the owner of Vantasy. Today we are on our second leg of our journey into Picacho State Park. <laughs> that is how you pronounce it correctly. Um, you guys know I don't normally pay to camp. I actually did make an exception on this one time just because the campground was so amazing. We were kind of out there in the middle of nowhere. It was difficult for me to figure out what was BLM, what was state land. So I just pulled the safe route and paid the $20 to camp and it was totally worth it. It was just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful site. So anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for joining my channel. <laughs> So we're coming up to a stop sign fee area. So registering required, California entry fee required, self-registration, day use, $10, camping, fee, see info on board. Office, no fireworks allowed, firewood for sale, or camp host, 611 PPA entry fee. Okay. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're driving into the campground and there's a rainbow. There's a rainbow right there. Oh my gosh. So to capture that before I go any farther, we're just coming into the entrance. Okay, you guys, so the campground is beautiful. It's uh, really, really, really nice. I mean, it's 20 bucks a night. I don't think I'm gonna pay it. There's nobody out here, literally. There's somebody at the boat launch and there's one person camping I've seen so far and now we're just pulling up on the river which is beautiful but I may camp just outside just because I can't see paying I just can't see paying to sleep I have a hard time with that so we're gonna get out here by the river and check this out this is cool these cute little covered shelters um so i mean it's a spectacular campground for being clear out here in the middle of nowhere this is really cool just that this is 23 miles 23 miles from my front door it's not bad at all to get into a place kind of unique like this so there's somebody camping over there. That's the only person I see camping here, as a matter of fact. Don't want to be rude and record them, but um yeah. Truck over there. You can kind of see. There you go. Camper with a kayak. Oh yeah, you know I got my paddleboard on this van. I was told good paddle boarding and kayaking here. So anyways, um, yeah, this is the campground. I mean, look at the size of these campsites. They're huge, huge, spacious bathrooms. Um, um, they're pit toilets, but uh, it, it is super clean. These are really, 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 really great campsites, I have to say. So 20 bucks, if you're looking for a campsite worth it, absolutely. This is just beautiful. Here again, look at the size of this campsite. I mean, it's massive, massive. Is this a cemetery or what do we got going on up here? There's something up here. There is a cemetery. Oh, get 
Well, that was a cool find. So the town is east of here, somewhere along the river, it says, or... To the to the sunset there to the left there was a lightning bolt it's cool here we got your first hike it's your first hike buddy <laughs> yeah rainbows epic sunsets where you see lightning right right there like right there, like right next to the sunset. I saw lightning. When I go through the footage, I'll have to back up and zoom in and see if I, it's on there. Pretty cool. Oh, did you notice that? You can see the... Uh, you can't, I guess you can't see it in this video. I don't think, wow, well, yeah, you can. It's like a... It's like a speck, right? What dome? There, no, it's that uh, blimp thing to detect low flying aircraft oh, coming yeah. in from Mexico. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful! Wow, pretty cool. So I'm gonna, don't have much battery left. I'm gonna get this out and get some pictures. So. I saw rainbows today, lightning, amazing sunset. Out of the middle of nowhere. There's no phone service here. This is really, 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 really cool, you guys. Really cool. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
That's what happens. That's what happens when you fly inside fantasy. Not good. Good for me. Not good for you. Alright, well, dinner's done. It's all cleaned up. And the moon is fabulous. See if I can get a view for you guys. It's gonna be dark, but we'll see. Check this out. It's gonna get, it's gonna warm back up again uh, around a hundred, so we definitely uh, want to get you know back to town. I th we just came out here for overnight, and uh, there's a lake. It says um, 1.2 miles up, and um, Taylor Lake. So I think we're gonna drive over there and explore that.
no, super fun, super, super fun. Save that for another video. I'll give you guys a tour through the U.S. sometime. It's actually a pretty cool town.
Picacho State Recreation Area is actually located in California. It's on a nine mile stretch of the Colorado River, just 25 miles north of Yuma, Arizona. It was actually once a mining town. Um, it depended upon transportation from the Colorado River, steamboats taking stuff back and forth. It didn't last very long. There is no town left. There are remnants of the stamp mill left, which you can hike to. We did not hike to those because we had the dogs. We were just up there for a one day trip. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect or what was there at all. But when we got there, there was a hiking trail to the stamp mills. It's just too hot and we have the dogs. Rico is just a baby. He's not even a year old yet. Um, at that time, he was just barely seven months. So um, we just didn't want to take him on that trip. It's just too much. So it just gives us something to do next time we go back. So anyways, I hope if any of you guys are in the area, you go check it out. Definitely take water. <laughs> Definitely take water. It can be anywhere from 20 degrees there up to 120 degrees. So d you don't want to be back there in summer. Also with monsoon season, rain and washouts. If you know anything about Arizona, once the rain starts coming down, it all shifts to washouts and you can't cross those it'll actually um, push cars, flood them down. So definitely be mindful of the weather. And if you decide to take this journey out here, make sure that you check and make sure that the weather is appropriate and that you are fully supplied with water and food just in case you have a breakdown. There is not phone service out there, which is why Richard and I chose to take both the vans and follow each other out there just in case we had any problems. We had another van for backup. So anyways, best of luck. Have fun. Oh.